when you train so many hours, when you're staying in the gym so many hours, doing the same things all the time, you know, it, it, it gets stale. You have to always find a new challenge, a new way of approaching training, something to, to get excited about. That's why every camp we switch George's training up and uh, one new aspect of training is uh, gymnastics. Gymnasts are the best athletes in the world. They can do movement nobody in the world can do. If you take 10 athletes from 10 different sports and make each athlete play everyone else's sport, on average, the guy who's going to do the best in all the sports is the gymnast. A lot of fighters will think gymnastics is sports for girls. When you look at what a male gymnast is, it's pure strength. Allez, 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 allez. Hey, stop. If you look deeply at how we train, and you incorporate that, and you mix it with jiu-jitsu, you have an all-around athlete. Gymnastics helps me have more coordination, more dexterity, and be more agile. I try to be ahead of my time. Good. You know, I'm a good athlete, but that the good is not enough. I want to be great. I try to reinvent myself every time and make myself a better martial artist. Go, 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 go! Yeah! The best lifting coach in the country and one of the best in the world is Pierre Roy. We're here today to work out with him. His main expertise is explosion. When you box or wrestle, all your power comes from the legs. It's slow. He's helping George learn how to use his legs and his hips to generate as much power as possible. My responsibility is to work on his uh, reaction. Not one at a time, both. He learned very fast. He did very big progress in the last year. It's hard to compare George to anybody strength-wise. He can lift hard, he can push hard, he can jump high. Particular athletes can do one thing really well. He does everything really well at a high level. George's is where brains meets brawn. Sometimes you have fighters who are very strong, very athletic, but not very technical, not very smart. Sometimes you have guys who are very smart, but not very physical or athletic. George is the guy who brings the two together. Go. In the last four years, the welterweight champion has gone from boxing novice to an authority in the ring. In Montreal, St. Pierre tightens his technique with former Olympian Howard Grant. He's defining the sport. This guy is doing jiu-jitsu, everything else, and he's studying boxing. It's fantastic. New moves, new agility, new things. New every day, every time, every time he does something new. left jab, his mobility, to slip off to the side, to stick and move and to pick and poke. Every fight the guy shows something else. It's gonna be the same thing on the third year. It doesn't matter who he goes in there with. When he goes into battle, he's 110% prepared. I've been working a lot on my punching power, right? the mechanic of my punches. Now I'm gonna put a lot more power into my punch. The UFC fans think that Jake Shelley is a big underdog. I don't believe that. I think the UFC fans doesn't give him as much credit as he deserves. Feel good, but I'm scared as hell. I'm scared as hell because it's like, man, like so many, so many idiots. And everywhere, like saying, "Oh, yeah." They, they look past that fight, but I don't. I don't like that feeling. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't care. That's that's how I feel like that. That's when I perform at my best.